Hi everyone, this is Tristan here. This is another video of the drone series. I'm gonna piggyback on the previous videos where I covered some of the flight techniques as well as some intelligent modes that I've been using. In this video, I'm gonna talk about some more advanced flight techniques. So again, please make sure you check the video that I did before where I was talking about the settings that you should probably use to get really smooth movement of your drones and the gimbal to make sure that you get the, the best control control and uh, the best footage possible. So please make sure you do that. So this advanced flight technique that I'm talking about is pretty much, again, it's pretty simple in theory. It's sometimes much harder to put in practice. It's about following what I've talked about in previous videos, which is an up, going forward and down, um, any other possibilities you can think of. But now we're also going to include playing with the gimbal. And so we're going to tilt it up, tilt it down, and that will really open up some really dramatic possibilities. You will be able to tilt the gimbal up as you're going up, or you can do it the other way around with going down and as well tilting the gimbal down as you're going down in elevation. You can definitely play with it and it's gonna take some practice, but trust me, you'll get some amazing shot out of it. The challenge really is that you're gonna have to play with the joystick to control the drone, but now you also have to think about the gimbal control here back there. I will advise you to always have full control of it and be able to slowly release it or slowly get it started to really get the best looking footage possible. So it will take some time to get a good hold of this. I mean, I'm still playing with it. You usually have to imagine what kind of shot you're looking for and then you'll probably have to try it three or four times. Like for example, hey, I wanna go up those trees and I wanna start with the gimbal low and by the time I get above those trees, I want the gimbal to be looking over the horizon. The speed that you're going up is correlated to at which speed are you going to tilt the, the gimbal. So again, it really takes a lot of practice, but I found it to be an amazing way to get stunning shots and to really have a lot of control on the footage that you want to create. I hope you guys enjoyed the footage that I just showed you. Let me know in the comments if you have any other flight techniques that you want me to talk about. I hope that you enjoyed this video and uh, I'll see you in the next one. Bye.